Hey, it's Dry Bear. A certain trinket that you can get in Dragonflight has been written off as garbanzo. Terrible. Absolutely useless. However, some new information that just came out today, after some very hardworking gamers and guide writers tested the trinket extensively, they figured out exactly what makes it tick. So today we're going to talk about how to get it to work, what you're missing out on, and if it might actually be the best trinket you never knew existed. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. Okay, so the trinket in question is the Ruby Whelp Shell. This is the trinket you can get uh, from Ruby Life Pools or from the quest right outside of it. And all it does is give you a main stat and it says that your spells and abilities have a chance to call a Ruby Whelpling, which will try to be helpful and assist you in combat. And many people wrote this off because it's very nondescript. It doesn't really say what it's going to do. And over time, we've kind of tested this to see that sometimes the whelp appears and does damage. Sometimes the whelp appears and gives you a buff. Sometimes the whelp appears and heals. But overall, it didn't seem like it was doing all that much. And even the parses that we've seen of the trinket haven't been that great. The on use for the trinket is call your Ruby Whelpling to inspect your target situation, teaching them how to be helpful with a 24 hour cooldown. So when you activate this, it goes on 24 hour cooldown, the whelp shows up and then sometimes says something and then vanishes for good uh, for the next day. So it didn't seem like it was it was doing all that much. However, the wonderful people at Wowhead and the people listed here in this list uh, I'm not going to name them all, but you can see them listed on screen. Every single person here uh, is a gamer that just went in and tested a whole bunch about the trinket. And now we know a lot more about how it functions under the hood. So the, the whelp that spawns has a list of six different abilities that it can use. It can do a single target damage effect. It can do an AoE damage effect. It can give you a crit buff. It can, give, uh, it can randomly heal a, a target on your team for some amount of healing, or it can do an AOE heal, or it can give a haste buff. And it seemed like it was actually random, but it's actually not. When you activate the active effect that causes the whelp to be trained, you are actually telling it which of these abilities you want it to prioritize, and you can stack them all on one if there's a specific one that you want it to use. Down below in the description, I'll put a script that you can run, a command you can just type into your chat here uh, that I have listed. You just type this whole command, uh, this whole script command into your chat box. And what it'll do is it'll print out the values you have for the whelp that you've trained. Whether it wants to do Fire Shot, Lobbing Fire Nova, Curing Whiff, Mending Breath, Sleepy Ruby Warmth, or Under, under Red Wing. So the two buffs, the single target and AoE heal, and the single target and AoE damage. So there is a training regimen for every day after 24 hours. You target something specific and you tell it to activate and it'll train it. And you can put the priority in all of one if you'd like. So that means that if you are doing, you're a DPS and you're doing mostly raids, you can tell it all, all priority goes to the single target uh, fire shot. So you actually get, can get some pretty good parses of damage because it's constantly prioritizing that ability versus anything else because if you're DPS, you may not care that it's doing healing. If you're a healer, you may want, uh, if you're M+, plus, maybe you want single target. If you're raid, maybe you want it to do mending breath, which does an AoE heal. Maybe you need a crit buff, maybe you need a haste buff, or maybe if you're doing mythic plus, uh, whether you're a tank or DPS, you might want lobbing fire nova, which does AoE damage, uh, when the whelp spawns and does its attack. Now I'll link the uh, Wowhead post in, down in the description if you're looking for it. This tells you all the research they've done, what you need to do in order to train your dragon, how to train your dragon to do each specific aspect. So if you want single target damage, you can target almost any mob, use the one day cooldown, and it'll put a priority stacker on fire shot. Uh, if you do hostile fire elementals, but even better is if you do the AoE dummies, Inside Valdraken, the AoE specific dummies, it'll tell it to prioritize lobbing Fire Nova, uh, and then the rest, the rest, the rest of the list here. Yourself, no target, or your own battle pet for crit buff. Uh, no target's probably the best for the buffs in general. Um, you can do uh, lower of the two moat of magical fire. There's going to be more of these, I'm sure. These are just the ones that they've been able to test and see results on. You can also do friendly targets for single target healing, or you can do 
AoE healing target dummies in Veldrak and, and use the active once a day to get the AoE. Now, because there are six priority stacks, the, the, the actual value of what you have saved to your character, it means it's going to take six days to fully train your dragon uh, to do exactly what you want it to do. And you can always check that as you're playing along. So run the script that, uh, that's down in the description. You can just check to see what the priority is. So we can test that out right now. So, so far on my priest, I have fire shot two priority and under red wings one priority. We know there's a maximum of six priority that you can have. You can have one in all of them or you can have six in one of them. So let's see if we can increase the fire shot specifically because it's already two. Let's put another priority on that. So I've come out here to Onarin Plains and the first confirmed way to get fire shot to be a higher priority is to target a hostile mob outside and then activate the trinket. So let's give it a shot. We're going to activate it. Boom. Ruby Welpling will spawn and it says that it belches and gives a hearty grin as smoke rises from his nose. Activate it again and you can see that we added another priority stack to fire shot ability. So now it's going to be prioritizing that much, much more. So what you can do is every day this goes on cooldown. It's a 24 hour cooldown. Each day this goes on cooldown, just make sure you're activating it against the right target. Try and make sure that you actually get the priority that you want and you can work through it. It's also been confirmed that you can actually uh, use this when you upgrade an eye level. So say, you know, this one that I have here is 389. If you got like an upgraded version from your M plus or whatever, then uh, it maintains these values on your character itself. So you won't have to spend six days retraining your dragon. Um, but there's a lot of options here if you need haste buff, if you need crit buff, or you're doing all kinds of different options here. So this trinket has a lot more going on than we thought, which is super cool. And when it's fully prioritized, they ran some parses with uh, the single target damage spell being at six priority, and it actually parses extremely high for damage output. So something to think about. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, come by my live stream. We're live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash dry bear. See you there. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content, link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.